Oh, so now it's time to put the cam sprockets back on that's not something you'd necessarily have to do but because we were painting them we took them off but i thought it'd just be useful to uh to know that if you look at the um shafts coming out from the uh, cams you'll see that there's like a little dial there and uh, then if you look at the sprockets you got the central hole and two little slots off and uh, here you've got exhaust and we've put a little white dot there so you want the little lug to go into the inside if it's going on to the um, intake um, side which is for that uh, cam sprocket and then you can see there there's uh, another um, little dial sticking out and uh, when we come to put that sprocket on the exhaust side you can see here that um, the in you can see is there and we've put a little white dot over the exhaust mark so on the exhaust that little lug will go there so even if you hadn't marked the map um, you can still sort it out and get the engine uh, aligned because essentially these two sprockets are identical which I assume made it a lot easier when they were building the engine they just built loads of them and it all depends on which lug it goes in for your exhaust or your in is what gets that cam sprocket in the right place so uh, that's what we're going to do now Right, so that's both of them on now without the bolts and uh, hopefully if I uh, get the camera positioned roughly right you'll be able to see there's the little white dot that we marked for our uh, inlet cam and on the exhaust cam you can see the little white dot there and uh, it's a real job to see with this camera but uh, hopefully you can see where that white dot is you can just about see that the dial is in this little lug there. So uh, we now know that they are uh, aligned right. So what you may have uh, noticed is the uh, little white marks there and there that should be opposite each other uh, aren't that's because when we remove the uh, sprockets the um, cam slightly sprung round which is why you need the locking tool to stop that happening but we were mo removing those sprockets so we knew that would happen so now we've got the sprockets back on we've now got to realign it so those two white lines line up here and we can put the locking tool back ready to do the cam belt so that's what we're going to do now Right, so what we've done is we've moved the cam sprockets round so that we are back in time and hopefully you can see the little white dot there and the little white dot there are lining up in the middle and we've put our um, camshaft locking tool in. Uh, all we need to do now is just uh, torque those bolts up to the, the right torque setting.